got a good deal on this necklace. Oh, it's very nice. Thanks, I got it in New York. Really? When were you there? Just got back today, actually. You must be tired. Traveling is so tiring. Oh, I managed to stay fresh. I'm a little tired myself. <laughs> I shot 18 holes today. Shot at them, rather. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? What'd you do today? I, um... I went to a funeral. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no need to apologize. Oh, oh I mean, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, was it someone close? A friend. Hmm. That, that's too bad. What do you suppose happens to us after we die? Um, well, I'm sure your friend is in a, is in a much better place. <laughs> Why are you sure of that? Oh, looks like I need a refill. He was just trying to comfort you. Didn't have to make him feel so awkward. Why is it so awkward to talk about death? No one wants to talk about death. Why not? I mean, we're all gonna die, aren't we? Why does nobody want to talk about it? And if we're all so sure we're going to a better place, why are we all so afraid of death? Well, uh, no one wants to die. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? I need, I need to read. What a killjoy. Who, me? Or him? We were having an interesting conversation here, and then you bring up death. Your conversation wasn't interesting at all. Death is interesting. And yet, no one's interested by it. In fact, you know what I think? G.K. Chesterton was often accused of being paradoxical, and, well, he often was paradoxical, but he wrote about ultimate things, and ultimate things are paradoxical. The big truths are much more than we expect them to be, and they are so big that they seem to contain contradictions. And few subjects are bigger, more ultimate, more paradoxical than death.